Hey, uh, Doc, you look sad. Yeah, just like life problems, you know. Huh, I think I smell crime? Yes, how did you know? Somebody has stolen my laser. Hey yo, welcome back to uh, Bunch Club, the Dark Fist DOC, episode number two. I hope you guys are having a good time with it. I'm over here feeling great, punching knockers out. I just say punching knockers out. Apparently, I'm fighting a lot of boobs now. <laughs> no, but really, I'm actually fighting these guys. And did you see the last episode, by the way, episode number one? Did you see this Birdman, the audacity, the stupid guy? Oh, Rocky can't land a hit. I don't know what's happening over here. You're your stupid coach, man. You're supposed to have me training agility so I can land some punches, huh? He has the audacity to blame losses on me, that was all him. Get over here and apologize to the people before I hook you with the right one. Alright, look, right, look, I know you're hot right now, Rocky, but there's really no need for physical violence towards me, okay? I'm not a fighter, dog. I'm a, I'm a lover. And yes, you did lose a fight, but that's okay. It's early on. You're supposed to lose fights. The game's all about getting better, okay? Now you have more motivation to actually land hits, huh? It was really Rocky's fault, not mine. Anyway, let's get onwards over here. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go ahead and... We have energy. We have food in us. We need money, though. So let's go over here and talk to old Steven Seagal. Use our last $2 for this. Let's get some money in here so we can go back to training. I do believe we have a fight coming up pretty soon. I'll be honest with you, that last fight, the third one that we did last episode, that one was kind of scary. <laughs> Towards the end, it looked pretty bad. And yes, it was partially my fault for not leveling up the agility. Uh, the problem was when we lost the first fight, though, or the only fight that we've lost so far, is that... I kind of got too caught up with the DLC stuff, so I forgot to go back to train, because I needed at least two agility to win that fight with um, a guy that actually has some dodging capabilities. So I completely forgot about going back to training that up, so that was definitely on me, but you know, it happens. Not a big deal, though. Uh, I want to get up to at least uh, 90 bucks here. We are there. Let's go ahead and just keep going at this. We get some more HP back as well. We're at it. Mm, 120. Yeah, might as well go up to 120 so we'll get some food stored up. That's cool. So we'll stop over here. Let's go on over to City Map. Maybe Apu has an update about his thief. No thievery stuff just yet? Okay. But we still need food. So we have one. We'll go ahead and do, do another one. We do need food to go back to training because we have to sleep as well. So how about we do one more of these here, really 39 for training and another um, sparring session as well. As a matter of fact, how about we just do the sparring session now? We have five skill points. Did I not... Where we get five skill points from? Oh, from the last fight, right. So we just need one more uh, sparring session to get active skill. As a matter of fact, let's do it now then. Yeah, buddy. So we'll do this, we'll get active skill, the third one, and then we'll have uppercut, blocking, and skip attacks, which is going to help us out a lot with our energy problem that we have here going forward. But I still am going to trade agility because we need to go keep it like around like a 5-2-3 spread, I'm going to say, with the stats here. So we're good on strength. It's just a matter of getting some more agility and maybe some more stamina as well. So, now that we have this available, let's go ahead and pick up active skill. Perfect. Okay, so after this, we're going to be going with... Cross Punch, some motivation, and then Way of the Bear. So I already have the pats, um, basically on point for us. Let's go back to the city map, and we'll go back home. Hmm. Oh, you still have enough money for the training session, that's fine. So, let's get some food. Do I have a pizza stone? Yeah, let's have these two pizzas really quickly. That should be enough for us to sleep. And then once we get our energy, we'll have some food and go go train a little bit here. When's our fight, by the way? Curious about this. Well, I'll keep sleeping here for a bit more. And I chug in our fight. I think our next fight's tomorrow, as a matter of fact. We'll be ready for that one, though. And we can stop right here. Perfect. Two days, actually, as a matter of fact. So we'll have to the 15 for our next fight. So, one, two. Back over here, and... We just go by foot. Over $3, you definitely don't want to spend money on that. Let's come over here and do some training. We are completely just about stocked up for this. Great. Let's come over here. And I was about to hit the bench already. I feel like I'm turning into like some sort of, some sort of like giant meathead where it's kind of like, got to fucking pump weight all day, bro. Got to just get these guns up and running. I'm not much of a lifter myself. I kind of want to be. Uh, not, I'm not a wannabe. I kind of want to get into that mentality. But I just, I don't know, I just don't have the motivation to go to a gym. Like, I, I, I do a lot of cardio myself. Like, I make it a point to at least run six out of seven days, go out there and get some jogging and stuff like that nature. I like cardio a lot just because it gives me a chance to kind of um, do it in the open. And, you know, I get to, like, I just think about stuff as well, get some stress out of the way that way. It's a really good um, way to deal with stress and get some ex exercise at the same time. 
So that's kind of like my thing, but I would love to, you know, bulk up a little bit here, you know, get these guns happening for the gun show, baby. But whatever. Almost at a three. Ooh, so close. So very close. Alrighty. Let's come over to doing some more strength based building. And before our next fight, I want to definitely be at a five, a three, and a three at least. And that's going to keep us really nice and good for a while because we're going to have the third active slot for skip attack. So at this point, we could easily just kind of speed through everything, at least early on. Down the line, we'll definitely run into some issues here. But for now, this is not too bad. We'll have our next fight coming up tomorrow. But we'll definitely continue training until we have to go into the fight here. Enough of that. Cool. Let's go and get stamina up here a little bit. And we'll definitely hit that agility to a three as well. Got a little bit of drop here. Nothing too surprising. Drops would definitely happen. I wonder if that's something they've worked on in terms of the balancing. I don't mind the stat drops, but sometimes the stat drops late game are so severe that, you know, it just encourages, like, hardcore grinding. So I really hope that's something they could probably look into here a little bit. Alright, so let's stop right now because I want to have some energy, or not energy, but our hunger meter so we can get some more speed up to a 3. So once we're at a 5-3-3, three, three, we'll probably go into the fight because we won't have enough time to do anything else. We have $10 as well, not enough for another sparring session with um, Silver. Cool. Might as well keep going. I want to make sure that we don't drop under a 3 in agility at this point. There you go, that's perfect. So, let's see, should we do our fight now? I eh, might as well do it now. No point not to. Fight League. Go into the fight. We have Bob Dredson. He definitely has a lot of dreads, so we're going to go with blocking, uppercut, get punch out of here, and we'll go skip attack as well. That's dodge. Where's my skip attack at? There it is. You know what? Let me rearrange this so that we have blocking and then skip attack. Oh, I'm just going to rearrange it itself, huh? All right, whatever. That's fine. Uppercut blocks and skip attack. Go for it. First round knockout, baby. Got to happen. If it doesn't happen, I'll be really disappointed, Rocky. And this is going to be on you now, because I have you nicely trained now, okay? None of this bullshit about, Oh, Falcon didn't train me properly. <laughs> That's me making fun of his voice. You know, if this motherfucker can make fun of my voice, I can make fun of his little you know, slur speech all the time as well. Fucker's over here drunk all the time, apparently. First round knockout. If you don't get a first round knockout, I'm going to be really upset, dog. There you go. One more. One more. There you go. <laughs> As I mentioned, once you get the Way of the Bear going on, pretty easy early on. It's just late game, you have to worry about the dodging. What the fuck happened here? Oh, it's Roy! Ah, uh, the fate of Roy, huh? Uh, gotta do the Irish thing, right? Uh, you know what winning big is? I just won big a hell of a fight, and I wanna talk to ya. Let's go to the bar and have a drink, my treat! Uh, maybe I really need to let off some steam after that fight, so sure, why not? Got a friend, Roy's a good guy. You can become some friends. Great fella, let's go. After two or maybe five beers, you go get some fresh air to the bar. Oh, cool, we're gonna meet um Tyler Durden over here as well. Uh, what? Yeah, hey there. I'd like to ask you a question. What do you know about self-destruction? Me, Tyler. You met Tyler? He looks like a good guy. I think you should spend more time with him. I agree too, because those will be extra easy skill points for us. Self what? Uh, I prefer self-improvement as my father taught me. Improvement? Like what? Making your muscles big? Making some money? The big house? The flashy car? You know those things your own up will end up owning you, right? Uh, listen, I just want to have a couple more beers and go home already. I really have no idea what you want from me. You are quite slow for a fighter, you know. You want some new scars or not? You're gonna die without them, huh? Come back when you're ready then. There's gonna be a lesson in self-destruction waiting for you. Straight fighter. Perfect. I love these because those are free easy skill points for us down the, um, early on. So, let's see, we have five of them right now. Can we pick up anything else? I don't think we can just yet. We do need to get some food in us, though. And let's go ahead and sign up. We're in current position eight. Sign up in two days. Yeah, might as well do it now. Next fight is in three days. Alrighty, so that's cool. Let's go into... We're a 5-3-3 three, three spread. We need some food. We need some money. Let's go back home. Maybe we have something with the bat signal over here going on. No, nothing yet. We have a call, though. Who is this call from? Hello? Hey, kid. Have you visited all the various locations of the area recently? Um, why should I need to do that, Frank? I'm just saying, sometimes um, we find direction and purpose in the strangest places. So deep, Frank. Eh, suck a lemon, kid. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see. 
Fluffy, let's play with Fluffy here. Give us more of a reason to trigger some DLC stuff, Fluffy. I'm not sure what, what triggers it, but, you know, I guess playing with the cat isn't really a bad thing. Let's come over here. He, the cat needs loving too, you know? He's just here hanging out all day. He's actually quite a bit of a cute character, isn't he? All right, we have some food. Great. So let's actually have, like, uh, let's have two of them. We have to rest for a bit anyway. But we have to go make some money here before we proceed. So we have our fight in three days, so day 18 should be our next fight. Mmm, that should be enough for a bit of... Yeah, it should be fine. City map. Let's go over here to the cafe for a dollar. Let's see, at a 533, can we do the um, turtles just yet? Let me deliver some pizza. I'm considering doing the first turtles fight for a few more skill points early on as well. Maybe. Let's get some money first, and then we'll talk about the turtles here. I mean, we won't talk about the turtles. We're not really turtles either. They're... What was it? Alligators or crocodiles? God damn it, I always forget. <laughs> I always forget. Go ahead and yell at me in the comments. You're right. I should know by now. People have told me salt water means so-and-so. Clean water means so-and-so. I don't know, man. Whatever. Crocodiles, alligators. They're all reptiles that could easily shred my ass apart. Simple as that. That's the easiest way to kind of go about it. Let's go up to 124 so we can buy some more food and store it up here. Fight should be tomorrow, if I'm right. Oh, we got our money? Cool. Stop. Stop right there. Alright. City map it is. Let's see. We haven't gone to the warehouse for our first um, ultimate fight. We could do that. We could. It'll give us some morale back as well. Can we do that fight right now, though? I wonder. Let me go to the gym first and get a training session with our boy Silver here. So we'll do this, and then that should give us enough to unlock... I think Cross Punch is the next thing we're going for. I think we should be fine to deal with the ultimate fight right now. I mean, we're doing pretty good against this guy, and he's over here, like, wearing pads, too. I think we'll be fine. So, we got two more skill points. Let's open up... Cross Punch over here. Seven. After that, we get some motivation, and then we get Way of the Bear. Unlock it. Alrighty. Let's see, so from this point onwards, um, I guess until we get, we'll do Cross with Uppercut. We, I think we substitute Cross Punch with Uppercut if I'm right. Let's see, what's going to be the difference here? Cross Punch, we have, uh, 12, 77, and 10, while Uppercut is 10, 80, and 8. 10. Hmm. We could give it a try and just keep an eye on our stamina if we tried to cross punch early on. Alrighty, so... Do we come over here to the UFC fight? Hmm... 5-2-3. Let's try it out, why not? If we lose, we lose. It's still skill points, so it doesn't really matter. Ah... Our... Masked friend, who we all know who it is. Hi, I heard that you organize ultimate fights, is that right? Hmm, you don't look like a cop. So, yes. Ultimate fights. Then I'm in. Okay. But we don't fight every day, and our fights are really dangerous. Take the challenge. So, can I fight today, or do I have to wait another day? Oh, we have one right now. Perfect. I'm not going to tell me who it is, huh? Random fight. <laughs> I was hoping to get an idea of it. Alrighty. Uh, let's go into it. Ooh, 3, 3, and 4. That could be problematic. That could be problematic. Maybe we should have waited up here a little bit, huh? Okay. Um, do we start off with um, Uppercut, or do we go with Cross Punch first and see what happens? Let me start off with Uppercut first, and we'll kind of mediate the fight and see how it goes. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I hope it goes well, because I really would hate to get injured. However, if we get injured, we get unlocked Chinatown early on, which is something that... Did we do Chinatown last um, series? I don't remember if we did or not. Hmm. Our skip attacks is definitely helping us out, though. So, this should be a fight that we win. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm not too worried about it now. Maybe. Now we should be fine. Yeah, we're wearing this guy out even before we're wearing ourselves out. Should we give Cross Punch a try now? No, you know what? I think our energy is still a little bit low for this one. So, until we get a bit more stamina, maybe, or some more agility to land some hits, we'll go with um, Uppercut for a bit longer here. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. 
easy skill points, and you know what? We get money for the ultimate fights too, right? So we should probably definitely keep our eyes open for more of these. This is something I kind of shied away from in our first run, so this time around I definitely want to spam more UFC fights for free money. Only two skill points though, huh? Alrighty. And we have the guy with the red eye. So, let me ask you guys here. I'll talk about this... Well, I'll talk about this later. Uh, who was that man with the red eye? It seems that I've met him before. Yep, the first time I saw him, I had the same feeling. Everybody calls him the man in the black or the red eye. He arranges a tournament on his island for the best of the best. He occasionally comes over to look at the new fighters, but he only invites the champions. Did I have to become a champ? Take a challenge. So here's, um... Yeah, 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 I got it. Stop it. If you want me to explain what the ending really meant on a future episode, let me know in this video. Leave me the comment, let me know. Yeah, yeah, explain it, it's fine, we don't care about the spoilers. And I'll explain to you in a future video what the ending actually meant. Or maybe just like a video on its own to talk about it. I'm not sure yet. But if you want me to talk about the ending, let me know. And um, I'll discuss it, or at least I'll explain it down. Because um, it was really confusing, honestly. I don't think it was properly explained too well, but I had to read about it, and after I read it, I was kind of like, oh, okay, that's what it was. Cool. Um, let's see, five, two, three. We have some more money, definitely, so let's come back home and do some more training here. We trained with um, Silver before this, or no? Mm, doesn't hurt to check, I guess. I think we did, but let me just be sure. Hands pad training. Yeah, I think we trained before we actually did the UFC fight. So let's go back home by foot. Our little suitcase still isn't glowing, huh? The mystery of the cats, the uh, burglars, the slimy cat burglars, no less. Let's get some food over here. Oh, uh, we only have one. Should have bought some more food before we took off. Alrighty. We'll get our rest, we'll go buy some food, we'll eat, and then we'll go sit back to training. We have $144 anyways, that's pretty decent. I guess we should probably even hit up Tyler Durden for some more skill points, too. Alrighty. This should be enough. That's cool. City map. Bust it over here. Oh! Oh, this is all the money I have. Do I look like a fool? Give me the rest. Hey, what are you staring at? Uh, I was just wondering how'd you sound without your front teeth. That's a good one right there. We got a free fight here? I'm down for this. One f Oh shit, this guy is gonna dodge just like crazy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. What have I gotten myself into here? Uh, 10, 80, and 8. 4, 82, and 8. Or, and 5. This will give us more attacks, the punch will. Let me try the punch first, and we'll see how that works out. Because this guy's 5 really worries me a lot right now. Plus, he's got one of these perks, fast reaction. Yeah, increases the... Yeah, okay. Let's go with the punch first and see how this plays out. Okay, that's good. I just want to keep my stamina up. Because we could wear them out, as long as we could, you know, land my hits, though. Skip attack, great. I think we could probably shift over to cross punch, or maybe even uppercut next turn. Let's uh, give it a try. So, your 82 accuracy, what would be my cross punch at? Cross punch is going to be 77. We'll give it a one try, and if we feel like we're failing, we'll um, swap back over to a punch here. But as long as this hits, we should do some damage. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. We're good with cross punch. I wouldn't be surprised had we gone with cross punch to begin with. We could have had like a first round knockout with this guy, too. Oh, baby. Way of the bear. Really fun. I like the idea of just knocking these um, fools down just really easy. Go for it. Finish it off, Rocco. Free skill points? Yeah, buddy. No, no skill points. Only morale. Ah. Get out of here with that noise. Prevention of crime. You prevented a crime for the first time. I am proud of you. Oh, thank you. You're a mighty warrior. Watching you fight reminded me of an old friend. He was a great master. Who is his friend? I wonder if this has anything to do with DLC. I'm not sure. I can't really say yes or no. Uh, let's go ahead and buy some food. How about a discount, dog, after I saved your life here and your business here for a while? Uh, let's go down to, like, 42. Have some money for traveling and some training. That is good. We have five pieces of meat over here. Let's get on out of here. We have to come back home and eat. We'll go train. You're not glowing, are you? I can't interact with you until you're ready, it does seem, though. Okay, so... Have... I'm gonna say two meals, should be fine. Now we come over to gym. We will definitely bust over here, and... Silver? How about now? Ah, damn it. So we gotta train first. Alright. 
So, 5 to 3, we have our fight coming up tomorrow, correct? Yes, tomorrow. We definitely want to keep that agility at a 3, so we should train that before our fight. So, let's go into... Just making sure we're going to keep this at a 3. Actually, you know what? Let's start off with... Lifting a little bit. Because that might drop to a 4 out on day 18. And agility is a lot easier to train because it's at a lower level. Yeah, it feels like the, the hunger meter and the energy meter really drop a lot slower now. I'm not complaining, it's a good thing, honestly. Maybe that's like the developers way to kind of alleviate the grind issue that people kind of complained about. Speaking of the grind issue, um, did you guys know that they also added um, cloud sync saving now with your saves? Meaning you could actually use your save on different platforms like on mobile devices and tablets or whatever. So you could actually play at home and if you're on the road or you could play on the road as well. Which is actually really neat. That's a really good feature as well. So you kind of like take care of the grinding off, you know, wherever else you're at. And just kind of like do progression as you go along here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, five, two, and two. Fight's coming up right now. Let's go into getting our agility up to a 3 for this fight. Stamina as well, and maybe we could even get that to a 6, our strength. I'm not sure if we will or not, but we could give it a try. Of course, more strength does mean more expenditure of energy when we're fighting, so... Kind of something to worry about. I think that's going to be fine for the agility. Let's um, go ahead and hit the old treadmill here. I think our next aim should be like maybe 7, 4, and 5. So, we should definitely aim for a bit more stamina. So after this, I think instead of doing the lifting, we probably come over here and do some more stamina building and a little bit of strength-based building as well. For stamina, we have this guy, we have that, and... Well, I guess the jump rope was also stamina as well, but it's more agility-based too, huh? Still have our fight coming up. Uh, let's see. I don't think we'll get up to a 6 in strength. Neither will we probably get to a 4 in stamina, which would have been nice, but... I don't know, maybe we will. Come on, give me a few more. We're so close. I don't think we're gonna make it. We're gonna be so close to it, though. Oh! No! So close! So goddamn close! Let's get into her fight. Uh, we have Bill Spark. 3, 2, and 2. I'm not worried about this at all. Let's go into Cross Punch. Can we get the first round knockout? What does this guy have? He's got uh, a punch, he's got a high punch, he's got blocking, he's got dodging as well. I said I'm not worried about it, I'm over here getting my ass kicked now. Come on, Rocky. This should be all you now, dog. <laughs> it's like the moment we hit those punches, that's when it's really... Like, I gotta get comfortable with this idea. Like, I worry when I start taking punches early on, but I forget that once you land your punch, it's like, you know, fucking massive damage. We got six skill points out of that one, too. Which is going to unlock some motivation. What do you do? When he looks at you, you can make one more repetition. You gain 50% more strength from training. Ooh, yeah, baby. There you go. We have Way of the Bear. So soon enough, we'll get our main tree unlocked over here. Alrighty. So we have a bit more into day 19. Should we sign up again? I think we definitely sign up again. We'll probably go hit up Tyler Durden here pretty soon. You should give me one more pad training, right? Yeah, there we go. So we'll do this one. We'll go over to Tyler. And bada bing, bada boom, we're good to go. It's about time we start wrapping up this episode as well. I always, lose, I always lose track of time with this game. This is like one of the games that I have so much fun with that I'm always talking about random stuff. So I'm always just kind of like, when, have, uh, when did I start? When did I finish? There was way too many times in this, um, the last series that we did for Punch Club where I would have to cut episodes in half because I probably record for like 15 minutes and be like, oh my god, I forgot to stop. Five and two, great. Let's come up to Tyler. We'll go ahead and bust it. Why not? How you doing, buddy? I want to test myself. Three, two, and three. Some guy. Alrighty, some guy. Let's go into this fight here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just punching this guy's face in. Yo, dog, you gotta like try to dodge or block or something. Oh my goodness, god. Come on. I'm enjoying these first round knockouts. Can do it again. Do it again. Come on, Rocky Falco. Don't let me down, dog. There you go. Two more. Or maybe, yeah, second round, huh? Eh, yeah. We started off pretty good, but at the end we kind of let up there. But this should be an early second round knockout. There you go, perfect. How many skill points for this? We get four, good. 30 morale, lost 8 HP. Can I do it again? Yeah. Now, I forget how often you can do this one. Is it like after, like, can I come back in day 19 initially, or do I have to wait like literally 24 hours? 
don't really remember too much about that. Let's go over here and pick up this burger as well while we're at it. Wow, it looks like a burger. It's better to take it, just in case. Thank you, Grab. Alrighty, so, let's see. $12 left. We do need to get some more money. How about we go to the cafe first, and... Hmm... You know, let's get some food in us. We will foot it. There goes our drop in stats. Oh, here we go! Sweet! DLC stuff. What, again? This briefcase is really starting to annoy me. It's not annoying me, dog. I want to find out what it's all about. Uh-oh. We have something happening. Where is that? That's the gym, right? Let's go ahead by... Let's go by foot. Hey, uh, Doc, you look sad. Yeah, but just like life problems, you know. Huh, I think I smell crime? Yes, how did you know? Somebody has stolen my laser. Okay, somebody stole Arnold's laser. Uh, who could stoop so low that they'd steal from a scientist? Did you call the police? Let's go with the first one. I don't know, my mom said that there was some guys wearing animal masks. It's the same people. Uh, did you call the police? Hmm. I, I don't want them to know that I had a laser in my basement. That uh, sounds logical. Huh. This is all starting to sound very suspicious indeed. I'll try to find and return your laser. That would be great. I want to hold my laser in my arms again. Huh. So, let's, um, retrace what's happened here. So we had the, the, the masked animal bandits. They first stole cat food. And they left slimy footsteps. And then on this one over here, they stole Arnold's laser, apparently. I have no <laughs> idea what's happening, but it sounds pretty interesting. Alright, let's go back home and finally get our rest over here. So I do, I do believe it's time for us to wrap it up here, guys. So, oh, we have a... Alright, let me do the phone call first. I, I guess they don't want me to stop the episode. Hello? Hey, kid. Have you kited out your garage with gym equipment? No, no, no. I don't want to do the gym equipment. I know about this already. Don't want to do it. We'll go to Silver's instead. We'll spend money. It's better training. Yeah, yeah, I know about it. Gym right there, cool. So we're gonna do my resting off camera, but we'll come back next episode and get underway over here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.